Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishna. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a simple Spring Boot project and run it in our local machine, right? So if you look at it, I have IntelliJ IDE with me. Here you can find the option called create a new project. Just click on it. So when you click the create new project, you can see the pop-up, which is actually giving you the multiple option. So now you can see one more, one option called Spring Initializer. Now, if you don't find the Spring Initializer, so probably you have to go to the settings of the IntelliJ and then you have to download the appropriate plugin. You know, that is something is really possible. You can do that, right? So as of now, you know, make sure that you have a Spring Initializer with you. Just give a next. So that is giving you another pop-up. So where you have to fill all the project metadata, right? So I have to fill in a few information such as uh, group ID. I'm going to name the group ID what you know, Dinesh Krish. An artifact ID is actually what you know, customer application. I'm going to say what I'm going to call this application as what you know, customer application or else I'll say customer management application. In short, I'm going to call it as what you know, CMS. Now you can select the language. You can see the different language available. I'm going to select it as what in a Java, right? If you want, if you are very good at with the Kotlin, uh, you know, of syntax, you can use the Kotlin. So I'm going at with going ahead with what in a Java. Now you can actually select what you know the Java version. I'm going to leave it as it is. So you can choose the version of your artifact. So CMS. Then your project name. I'm going to call this project the description as what customer management application why so now we all set just give next now here the place you can see the different modules that are available in what the spring boot now you can see there are a lot of model core web template engine we'll, we'll learn everything one by one so as of now I'm going to focus only on what you know the web so under the web you can see what you know react web rest repository a lot of things I'm going to select only what you know web for the initial one so you can see the latest spring boot version is actually what you know 2.2.10 which is stable now you can see one more snapshot version 1.2.1.1 which is the snapshot so i always prefer you choose only what the stable version right so just give a next now you can see the project name so i'm going to name the project actually name as what you know customer management application right so this is this is nothing to deal with your artifact name your artifact name is different your project name is different so just make your project name is more readable so that that will be very easy for you to access right just give a finish now you can see that the project actually created it's actually what you know uh, download all the necessary dependency for your project now go just open the project structure now you can see what external maven library right you know just click on it you can see what you know all the maven libraries are added right so whatever is needed for the spring boot application now if you go inside you can see there is a source folder inside the source folder you can see the main then go to the java so you can see what you know the package is created called com.dinesh.cms so here you can see what the the one class is created called cms application just click on it now you can see there is a simple class called CMS application which has the main method in it, right? Which has the main method in it, and then it is annotated with what you know Spring Boot application, right? Leave it as it is. So because this is this is actually what you know going to bootstrap the Spring Boot, Spring Boot application. So that's what we are actually using this annotation. Spring application dot run. So then you have to pass what you know your class. Then you are passing the argument. You are telling to your Spring. Uh, a container hey spring container consider this class actually what you know made a main class for my spring application that's it so now you can go to the palm xml the artifact id group id the version so now you can see the dependencies are so the dependency that we added is what you know group id for org dot spring boot spring frameworks dot boot then spring boot started dot web as well as the testing framework also is added right so this is this this is the current status of the spring boot application now let's quickly run this application we'll see what is going to happen now you can see that our spring application spring boot application is getting started okay so far we just created what you know simple spring boot application and then we ran that application you know successfully